Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about how to code things in Fabric. We're going to be, this tutorial is mainly going to be talking about blocks and items, but if you want to add your own custom blocks and items into the game, this would be the perfect tutorial to you. So let's say this is your first opportunity to make a mod. You're going to need to download a couple things. Uh, and if you don't have much coding knowledge, that is also perfectly fine. Part of my target market is people who possibly just don't know how to code at all. So I'll try and explain things very carefully. The things that you are going to need, you are going to need immediately two things if you've never coded before. So let's look up the Oracle Java download and then let's go to Java downloads and then I personally go on Windows and then you have your 64 installer. So download that 64 installer and then there should be that. So this is your JDK. Your JDK stands for Java Development Kit and a Java Development Kit is a kit that develops things in Java. I, it's a little backwards, but that's what it does. Now, you have a kit that develops things in Java, but you need an area, you need to somehow open the kit with something. So our little kit opener is going to be what's called an idea integrative development environment area. And the in <laughs> idea that I use is called IntelliJ. So let's look up the IntelliJ download. And if we just go to download, uh, it is going to bring us to this page perfectly fine. So this is our IntelliJ Ultimate 30 day free trial. We're not going to be using that because everyone hates things that aren't free forever. We're going to come down here to the Community Edition because it is free and built on open source. This is the one you're going to want to download. When those things... Do oh, did I actually click on download? That's so funny. Um, I have already have them installed, so I don't really need them personally. But once you have those two things installed, I don't think there's anything generally that Oracle does perfectly fine. When your IntelliJ opens, um, your thing is gonna no, no. <laughs> your 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 thing is gonna look a little bit differently than mine, which is perfectly fine. Oh, this is how it's gonna look. Perfect. I just realized that. Uh, I have a ton of uh, stuff, uh, but this is how your thing's gonna look, and that is perfectly fine. So let us make a Minecraft thing that we can now open. To do that, let's look up the fabric. Uh, so even if I just type it out, uh, fabric uh, m uh, mc dot net. Uh, we're just gonna look at the dot net by itself. We're gonna come up here to where it says develop, and then we're gonna come down to where it says use the online template mod generator and click on that. So now we are at m <laughs> my fabric mc dot net develop template, perfectly where you want to be. We're going to do the choose the name for your mod. You're going to click on use custom ID. So this is going to be the official name of your mod. So if somebody uses um, like a JEI, this is what the mod is going to be called in the JEI, which is just enough items. So if they're using, you know, client side stuff to look at your mod, this is how what it's going to be called. So for now, we're just going to call this the uh, TUT. O R I L tutorial. So, uh, I mean, if I really want to, I can call it the fabric tutorial, uh, but I'm just going to call it tutorial just for short. This is your namespace. So this would basically be whatever your, your, your mod is in short. So in example, Minecraft is a lowercase. It does have to be an all lowercase. They have a colon and then they have whatever their item is, whatever their block is. So whatever it's talking about, this is called a namespace ID. So if I was going to summon a Minecraft creeper, it would be called Minecraft creeper. So for me, instead of using this my, my, uh, namespace, I have, uh, I'm going to call it HMH3. That's just what I do when I'm doing tutorial series. So now if I make a new entity, this would be my uh, entity. So this is just an example so you can see what I mean when I'm trying to, well, you'll see it in the code when I'm doing stuff uh, in the Java script stuff. But when we're looking at assets and data, you'll see it. But just know that that is going to be basically your mod name in lowercase, but you can call it whatever you want. These things are two different names. You can ignore that. It's perfectly fine. When it comes to your package name, I would recommend uh, doing uh, net dot oh, <laughs> net dot and then whatever your name is. So for me, I like to call myself Romeo uh, Snow Blitz, but you can make whatever you want. Uh, so for your advanced options, I would make sure that everything is unclicked. Like I said, I, my target market is people who don't really have a coding background. So if you have no coding background, this tutorial series is perfect for you because we're not doing anything advanced. Once you got that, download your template. And this I'm actually going to need to download because I do. 
Uh, let's throw it in here. Look at that. I already conveniently have a space for it. We're not going to get into all that. So now I would recommend naming it, it naming your thing. So now I'm going to call it. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's still zipped. Let's take the zip out. We need to. We need to extract. You can still name it if you wanted to. Uh, it's going to look a little weird. <laughs> Uh, let's close out of it. So now, now let's rename it. I want to call it uh, Fabric uh, T U T O R Tutorial. So if you rename, if you named it before you zipped it when you extracted, I just wanted it to know. And the reason I knew is because it said this dot zip. This is your file extender, and it's also got the little zip on the folder. Once you extract it, you can now download it. And notice how it's got like this little paper. It doesn't have the IntelliJ. Now we should be able to open it inside of this. So let's let's close out of this for a second, and then let's reopen our IntelliJ, and then hopefully we should see a, uh, a fabric. Fa maybe maybe maybe. Let's open. Okay, here we go. So we you have your C for your computer, users, whatever your computer is, and then look for something called a desktop, because that's where I put it. I put it on my desktop. So we're going to go into desktop, and now we have all of our folders. So it, I have it called a fabric tutorial, so it is right here. So we're going to click on the folder. If you go any further, don't click on anything in here. Make sure that the folder itself with the black box and the line, that's just IntelliJ, um, that's what you're going to hit OK on. Now, this thing is going to start loading up. It's got plenty of things to work on. If you want to wait until the whole thing is done, you can do that. Uh, it'll always give you a tip of the day. You can say don't show tips, but I actually like to see the tips. You never know what you're going to see. Um, but it's going to be running around for a little bit in the background, which is perfectly fine. But I'm going to continue working despite um, despite it still uh, working. I'm just going to move things. Now, your thing, your settings might have things like uh, flat and middle packages. It might have, uh, there we go. So like flat and middle packages. So then if I like open it up uh, for the first time, it might look like this. And let me tell you, this is an absolute mess. So I would recommend look at my thing, uh, make sure that you, so what I have checked, if you wanna have it checked, that would probably be a good idea because um, because that's what I have. So when you see me doing something, um, if your system looks like mine, it'll be much easier to go through. With that in mind, we did actually get a build successful. Obviously, we didn't actually change anything, so that's perfectly fine. I'm going to do something. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to change the mod version to 2 because this is my second tutorial. This elephant will come up, but that's perfectly OK. Uh, in your build Gradle, uh, this would be the point where your elephant's going to come up. So it's going to basically say, here's your plugins, we're doing one, uh, 1.2, repositories, dependencies, and then it's going to say somewhere where it says, uncomment the following line to enable your de uh, deprecated fabric modules. Go down to this one where it says mod implementation, and this one is going to go uh, like that. So now we can now, uh, now it's basically open, so our fabric should now be working. So an elephant will pop up when you do that. So hit the elephant, let it load its thing. It's got more things that it's going to want to load. And then let's do the final touches. His final touches are really, really simple. So your example mod, your example is because it doesn't know what to call it. So it just says example. So I would recommend refactor, rename, and call it whatever your mod is. So for me, I'm just going to call this HMH3. You're going to want to use uh, whatever your thing is. So let's say I wanted to call this fabric tutorial. I would use capital all lowercase, so like this, so fabric, T-U-T-O-R-I, if I could spell, uh, oh, <laughs> fabric, <laughs> fabric, like that. So we have it like this. This would be a good way if you have multiple words, but like I said, uh, I just have one, HMH, and then I put a little number on it. So refactor, and it's now going to be that. So we're going to look inside of here, and we don't need this. Uh, it'll tell you if you want to read it you can uh, I'd probably recommend reading it it probably is telling you something important but um, oh let's keep the logger info there for a moment um, I, let's uh, now add public static final string and we're gonna call this uh, uh, mod ID in all caps, 
Then we're going to have it be exactly what our name idea is. So if we just copy this, control C and paste it right here, put a little semicolon at the end and then take your monody control C and switch through it with this. So now that is just something that I've just I've always done for a while. So I'm just going to continue doing it. I'm not too sure what would happen if I didn't have this done. And I don't feel like I want to find out. So I would recommend doing that. But with that in mind, everything should be set up. So normally you would just hit your play button, but it says add configuration. You don't have a configuration yet. I would recommend doing fabric. To, uh, go into your little elephant mount here. You have your fabric tutorial, go in your tasks, go into your fabric, and then go into your run client. This should run the client. Everything should be nicely loaded. There should be no issues. So um, that would be everything for the setup. I also, while this is loading up, should take really quick. Press I, enter to enable the narrator. That always startles me. So hit continue. Uh, it might be a little bit loud. Options, music sounds, and then turn the volume all the way down. So now you can hear me just fine. So just continue, turn the music down, perfectly fine. So what I was saying before, now that we know that this is perfectly loaded, we can close out of it. Your mixins. I do not personally use mixins. If you want to delete this, you can, but I would recommend keeping it here. Uh, I'm going to keep it here, and, uh, well, if you do delete it, I should tell you how to delete it. But like I said, I'd re recommend keeping it there. But since we are in the Resources Acids Fabric mod, um, we have your idea. So this should be that little namespace idea. And then we have the name. Like I said, your name, it, this, whatever it's called here is going to be the official name of your mod. So if somebody is using a JEI, just enough items, then this is what the, it will pop up as. So you can do that. If you are working with someone, you can put more than one author, but there's that. The license, I typically use MIT license. I'm not gonna change the license right now uh, because changing the license is a pain, but um, if I wanted to, it, whatever uh i'll probably do it at some point or i'll just keep it like this and because i'll probably forget about it but i'm going to close all tabs because that actually is everything in the setup really easy stuff um it, it gets easier every update to do this kind of stuff um so i'm i'm quite surprised but if you have any questions, you can still ask me in the comments below. But that is going to be doing it all for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 